Israel last night carried out an airstrike in the area of Aleppo Airport in the northeast of the country. That's according to the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, who added that seven people were killed in that area. Syrian sources claim that the country's anti-aircraft defenses thwarted the strike. While the Israeli military has yet to comment, Israel's acting foreign minister, Israel Katz, was quoted by Israeli daily Haaretz today as saying that, as far as Iran knows, it's Israel who carried out the strike. Our senior Middle East correspondent, Mohammed Al-Qasim, breaks it down. Another airstrike. Syria's official Sana news agency accused Israel of carrying out an airstrike in Syria on Wednesday night, this time in Aleppo, Syria's second city. Syrian TV said only material damage was caused. Army air defenses repel an Israeli aggression that targeted a number of industrial sites in Sheikh Najjar industrial zone, northeast of Aleppo, and downed a number of the hostile missiles. The British-based Syrian Observatory for a Human Rights War Monitor said the Israeli bombardment killed seven people and hit ammunition stores belonging to Iranian forces and allied groups and caused huge explosions. Israel rarely admits publicly that it's behind these attacks. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu addressed the airstrikes on Thursday, saying... Our activities against Iran's attempt to establish itself militarily in Syria, to introduce sophisticated weapons in it, continues all the time. This air raid in Syria is the first since U.S. President Donald Trump recognized the Golan Heights as Israeli territory last Monday. The Golan Heights were seized from Syria in the Six-Day War of 1967, and the U.S. decision broke with decades of international consensus. Israel has carried out hundreds of airstrikes in Syria in the past few years, targeting positions held by arch-enemy Iran and its Lebanese ally Hezbollah, with the goal of stopping Iran from entrenching itself militarily in the war-torn country. The Syrian government has always said it will retaliate at a time and place of its chosen. And Mohammed Al-Qasim is still with me in studio to discuss this story further. And Mohammed, of course, the one of the reasons why this is alarming is the location, not exactly the traditional quote-unquote uh, site to strike by Israel. But that's not why this is uh, an important and significant airstrike, if it was uh, indeed done by Israel. That's not the only reason. Well, a couple of reasons why it's uh, significant in terms of the location. First of all, we're talking about the northeast part of uh, Syria, where we have two Two other militaries involved there. We have the Turkish military as well as the Russian military that are joining together also in joint patrols of that area based on agreements. In the, in the past, we've seen Israel carry out attacks in Deir ez-Zur, in the eastern part of Syria, uh, near Damascus, in the southern, the southern part of Syria, even at times near uh, Aleppo, only to the south. That took place. But to have it done there, that risks also maybe getting involved or at least clashing with the other two militaries we're talking about and also it's 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 an area it has heavy presence of the syrian opposition of different uh, backgrounds also that 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 tells us that probably israel now has more access to syria or in syria that it has a green light not only from uh, the russians but also from the uh, the us just on the heels of uh, president trump g giving israel officially the U from the us uh, sovereignty over the golan heights even upping the, uh, the 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 tension in the area but now it seems that israel if Israel was behind this uh, airstrike, uh, is basically conducting airstrikes as it wishes, targeting Iranian warehouses, military warehouses, Iranian bases, Iranian uh, foot soldiers inside Syria.